the hot sun clattered through the summer sky like a nail in search of a coffin. I found a pair of your white panties you had misplaced in my underwear drawer. So simply surprising. Oh, oh, I couldn't help myself. I sniffed, I sniffed at the panties. Ah, the panties were so clean and fresh with soap and Clorox. We are getting old, huh? Me and you. Almost 40 years we slept in the same bed. And yet, there I was like a dog, sniffing at your clean white panties. You were in Tulsa, visiting with your friends, the ones I argue with in my head, the ones who believe that a kingly God governs the world. And so in my lonely summery daydream, they question my devotion to your white panties. They would tell me, I believe, to put the white panties back in your underwear drawer where they belong. They must have their reasons. I have mine. Outside the window, despite the hat for me, a cat and a mockingbird are playing their game to decide who will live the longest. The cat was lying serenely in the thick green grass. He waved his tail as a flag to entice the hummingbird to dive closer and closer. The bird pretended she didn't understand. She squawked in defiance at the cat's claws. You and I know that this mockingbird will lose the game. Already this summer, we found the feathers of three mockingbirds scattered in the green fall. But I want to write a love point for you. The parable of the cat and the mockingbird has intruded somehow into what I want to say. Please, please, let me try again. I want to tell you that I truly want to forgive your friends in Tulsa. And likewise, I am trying to forgive myself for the anger that I carry in my heart like dirty laundry. I tell myself, we are who we are. We are who we are. Nothing special. Thank God our bodies can become such innocent travelers. Any time of the day, our bodies will forgive us. Suddenly, suddenly, like, like hummingbirds buzzing in our ears, like unexpected desert winds and smells, like the rain, like that rain last week, night before you left, little bits of trash muddying my love for you, and when I climbed into bed beside you, my heart miraculously became clean, fresh, and young, like, like, your white panties misplaced in my underwear. Oh, my love, your panties are the sails of a womanly ship, afloat in a holy, but dangerous
a sea. The ship is sailing to the end of the world. And I am waiting for you to come home to me.